Okay, I'm back. Um, so in the last video we did uh, this simple representation of a graph where we can add a node and remove a node. So let me say that state uh, in Git. So if I do git status, I can see that those two files have been modified. I can also do a git diff and I get the difference with the latest status. That's kind of cool. So you make sure what are you committing. So let's do a git commit. I think all of that. And that's the message, like the description was a simple graph representation. It is like a snapshot of the project at the current stage. That pretty much it. Let's go to the code. So in this in this video, we'll implement a simple node. Uh, with inputs and outputs, and that, that node will compute some value. So a, a very simple example is like an add node to add two integers or something like two numbers. I think that's simple enough. Um, so yeah, let's just do it. So we need a new test for that. So let's say a test add node. And that's a method, so that's self. Um, we'll need, well, it's, maybe I can just copy this. Oh. Okay, doesn't matter. So we need a graph. We need a graph there. Uh, we need a, add a node to the graph. And uh, this time the node will be, will be, well, an add node. And this will give us a node. So once we have a node, uh, and an add node, we will imagine that there's inputs and outputs. So let's set the inputs. It will have like value one or value two. I would just add them together. So let's say node that I get input. Well, get input is a bit generic. I, I would call this stuff port. You can call it blocks or just input. So get input port. So give me a port, I guess. And this the name is value one. So that gave me the port. And then I can do like dot value equal to whatever. Same stuff. Value two. This will be three. Uh, so we set the values. And then we need to evaluate the node, like do the actual calculation. So now dot evaluate I guess and finally test so equality and we need to make sure that the node uh, so let's get an output port just to be like consistent with get input port and the name will be result so let's make sure that the value is equal to three plus two plus three it's five at let me oops so very, very, very explicit it's easy to follow that and that's pretty much it right we have an add node we set two input values we evaluate the node and we expect a result that's pretty simple i think that's good enough so yeah let's run this oh sorry uh oh yeah sorry about that this should be like that man sorry okay save this run this cool so there's no add node uh let's just implement it so real quick so we need a class called add node and the base class is put node and we don't want duck string 
and we don't want arguments and we don't want anything at the moment so once we have the node what else do we need we need to get an input port so I would do it right here get input port and this is a method and we pass a name looks like and this should return a port so let's say self dot input port dot get we'll use a dictionary I don't know we can change this in the future so it looks like the nodes need input ports but I probably need to store it like in an order to be consistent so let me yeah let me import from collections import order dict so it's at order dict and this we will use that so order dict now we we'll do the same with the output port so output ports and this should be fine so yeah that's good and this is this is output and this is output uh, so that looks good we can get an output or an input port uh, cool so the next thing is value one give us a port and it's a known has no attribute value so what support right so yeah let me do a new class here call port so this support um, port have well probably have yeah probably have a name the name of the port right value one value two result uh, so this would be name name and it also have a value that would be known at the moment so that looks good so let's run the test and we have the same problem there is no value one so let's add the port the, the port in the add node so you can do it in the init but I think it makes sense have like a method for it so I don't want any argument yeah an invoid is doing nothing but in this one so in this in this one I want to go super and this is a node self uh, we need to init port so we call the base class do whatever happened there and now we need to add the port so we need to add uh, two input ports and one output port so the way to to do it well I can add it directly to the dictionary but I think it's it's better if there's like a method for it so it's easier when you implement a node so yeah let's say self dot add Port, input port and we pass a name so value 1 value 2 and result so this is 2 and this is adding an output port so output and this is result so obviously we need to implement that so let's do it here add input port and we pass a name so we will create a port so port is equal to port whatever that is with an object and then self that input port uh, that get no uh, we pass yeah, the name and this will be equal to the port and the port get initialized with the name sorry 
And that's pretty much it. Right? Yeah, I think so. Um, oh, and this is a method. And the same is true for the output. So, so this is output port. So let's try to run the test. Um, and it say at node of this has no attribute evaluate. So we need to implement the evaluation of this. So it's always better to extend the base class. So let's do the base class first. And here we do nothing. And in the add node, well, we basically need to. We need to call supper add node self, and then we call evaluate. And then we need to evaluate, like add the input ports. Uh, so we'll do result equal to. I would just uh, list comprehension to get a list of all the values. So p dot value for p in self dot input ports and this is a dictionary so dot values if p dot value is not known because if it's known we don't want that value so the next thing is I can get a sum of all this Uh, so basically that's the result and we need to set this in the in the output port so let's get the output port uh, the name is result dot value it will be equals to result hope it makes sense and if I evaluate this we are passing the test so we just implemented an add node, uh, a very simple node, uh, well, using this methodology, right? It, it wasn't that difficult, and I think it makes sense. It's really straightforward. So let me save the state of the project. So I'll get status. You can see the difference again. I can see the diff there. Looks good. So I'll get check in everything I say uh, add node implementation as node <laughs> cool so that's pretty much it uh, that's for this video in the next one we will uh, implement the connection between nodes and create a little graph uh, and that's it so I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.